<coughs> Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I have this 2019 Ferrari El Cascadia and um, as always, uh, the reason why I do videos is because these trucks have, uh, are having problems. And this uh, truck um, is completely destroyed. As you can see around, it looks all oily and everything. So the owner of the truck said and, um, the truck was running and suddenly the engine started making a noise, a loud noise. And it, is, it was uh, the, the last moment of the engine running and then it shut off. Um, so they tow here um, and uh, for us to inspect it and clearly enough the engine was completely locked up so it didn't have uh, movement the crankshaft was completely seized and and um, after looking around I found and the engine block was broken as you can see the engine block is completely uh, broken and it is not just broken on one side um, also the other side of the engine is broken as well so which means then um, it is pretty rare when things like this happens to these uh, to these trucks like this because um, the owner say then the truck wasn't even on the road it was just a steady on the parking lot and uh, it happened so when things like this happen it's very important for you to investigate um, the cows uh, I did a video in the past showing how it is to investigate uh, if the problem then the engine had was a mistake or something but in this case we're gonna do the same uh, we're gonna connect the DDL software to the truck and and the reason why is because uh, we, we want to see if there is any over speed or low pressure low, low pressure warnings but uh, as you can see the warnings on the screen there is nothing related to over speed or low oil pressure the only warning that we have on is the oil pressure circuit that was uh, that is open. But the reason why this is open is because the oil pressure switch, I mean sensor, got completely destroyed by the connecting rod when this one was com uh, separated um, inside, and you know it, it broke the block, and as consequence, it broke to the oil pressure uh, sensor. Now. Since we have no evidence then this truck was running with low oil pressure and there is no evidence then this truck was um, running at high RPMs that means then this is just a clearly defect the engine was defective probably or maybe in the past this truck uh, uh, someone did a job probably they did the main bearings the rod bearings or anything like that and they didn't do it properly uh, the mileage of these trucks is 600,000 miles, which is not that much. Uh, knowing that this is a 2019 Cascadia, uh, uh, that's the reason why this problem is very confusing at some point, because we don't have that many um, situations that are going to guide us on how the problem happened. This just happened, basically. It happened, and uh, once it happened, uh, the engine block is broken and the connecting rod is one it went to the side and uh, there is nothing to do right now if you wonder what to do if we can repair this engine block the answer is not probably in other countries you can actually take the engine apart and, and weld that piece because I have seen videos on YouTube as well like people welding cast iron in this case this is cast iron uh, engine block so welding that but it is very hard to weld cast iron but there is people that do it, so probably other countries are going to be able to do it. Over here, well, the engine block is broken, so the only way to repair this engine will be to replace the engine. Um, will be the cheapest, probably. But now, if we try to do a full overhaul, we have to buy a, a new or a used engine block and a new crankshaft and the 622 rods, the full overhaul kit, the cylinder head, and other components that are part of the full overall kit. That is going to add up to a cost around like $25,000, $30,000 to repair this um, engine. So that's the reason why replacing this for a used uh, engine will be cheaper because a used engine you can buy for $15,000 to $20,000 depending on the mileage, depending on the year, depending on everything, the price of the engine uh, is going to vary. But but that is going to be cheaper plus the labor, probably 25, 
depending. A brand new engine from dealer probably is gonna cost you around twenty thousand dollars as well. So it depends. They vary. So don't believe my word. You can just go as your dealer and see how much uh, they are going to charge you for a dealer or for a full overhaul kit. Or you can go to your local par used parts uh, seller and see how much. Um, I use the D15 engine from the specific gear that you're looking is gonna cost you, but and then you wanna have the right number. But uh, what I what I'm giving to you is just random numbers based on how much, but they can be they can vary a little. So, um, but um, as I say, uh, this engine is completely destroyed. Uh, there is nothing to do. Um, uh, the engine has to come out and. And um, in this case, I believe that we are going to replace this with a different engine. We are not going to repair this engine because the owner of this truck has a truck that is being in an accident with a similar gear, similar engine. So we can just remove the engine and put on this one. So that will be the cheapest way to have this engine, this truck ready to run. Um, other, other than that, uh, we still have to spend money on doing other repairs like uh, main bearings, rod bearings are very um, important to do if you are going to replace your used engine. Like if you buy a used engine and you're going to put it on your chassis before doing that or during you are going to install the engine, you can do a main bearing and rod bearing replacement that can actually prolong the life of the engine and then you have to replace the fuel pump replace the old suction manifold and the old pump orange that is very important to actually increase the life of the engine it doesn't matter if they were replaced just a couple months before you remove the engine still you have to do it again that way you can prevent any future problems since this is not one thousand dollar repair this is ten twenty thousand dollar repairs so you have to actually try to expand the uh, expense that you want to do as maximum you can stretch that uh, money that you want to invest on it and that can be accomplished if you do these repairs before installing the engine now um, in this case i'm not going to say how to prevent problems like this a problem then just happened in this truck because it didn't happen because the engine didn't uh, have oil pressure or the driver was going downhill on a higher higher rpms uh, this problem just happened because it, it, it was it was it was meant to happen by a defect but what i'm going to say is if you hear a engine noise then it's not normal so whatever noise you hear from the engine is very important you pay attention because if you don't pay attention you're gonna end up with problems like this engine then is completely broken on both sides and cannot be reused and those problems in the majority of cases this problem could be solved with a main with a, a very basic repair removing the engine then replacing the crankshaft and that was it uh, that would that, that could be just a basic repair but because they didn't actually pay attention to the noise in this engine or they didn't actually care or they tried to keep on running the truck with the noise that this engine was making that is the reason why we have this issue but up to right now this is will this will be all i'm going to show you about this truck and um i hope then you guys don't get these problems on your truck because this is a this is a nightmare, this is a very expensive problem. You have to pay for a tow truck, you have to pay for a mechanic, you have to pay for the parts, you have to pay for so many things, and that is, everything adds up. So um, I hope that this doesn't happen to you. And as I say, if you hear anything, any noise or something, then you don't find it normal, don't keep on running your truck, take it to a shop, or at least investigate yourself what kind of noise is the one that the your engine your engine is making so um just prevent that because it's going to be, it's going to be very expensive so uh go to instagram look for me francisco my youtube uh look at the description of the video i have details how to send support to the channel if you wish to send support to the channel as always like share subscribe and thank you for watching